Hi everybody, my name is Denise Jones Backmore and I'm with HowCraftCollection.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create my Elixir bracelet. It's created with the new stone connectors just added to the website. Um, the materials list, the bead count, everything you need can be found in PDF form in HowCraftCollection.com's design inspiration library. Uh, just go in there and click bracelets and look for elixir bracelet. Okay, here we go. We're gonna be creating this bracelet using simple loops. So we're gonna pick up an eye pin and we are going to string a mint green lustered agate. It's eight millimeters. And we're gonna bend the wire. We always wanna make sure the wire is going the same direction as the loop. We're gonna get our wire cutters. We're gonna trim the end. Our needle nose pliers go right to the end right there. And we're gonna form a simple loop. Okay, you can take it, make sure it's nice and straight. We are going to open this end and connect it to one side of the Brazilian faceted Amazonite connector. Okay, next we are going to use another eye pin and we're going to string our crystal and gold tone rhinestone ball. We're gonna bend the wire. With our wire cutters, we're going to trim the end that looks a little long so I'm just going to take another little piece off of it with our needle nose pliers we are going to form a simple loop checking it making sure that's nice and straight we're going to open the end with the chain nose pliers and attach. Okay, we're gonna pick up another eye pin and we're going to string these Amazonite faceted stone rectangle. Amazonite is one of my favorite beads. We're gonna bend the wire. We're gonna cut it. And then with our needle nose pliers, we're going to form a simple loop. It looks pretty good. So we're gonna open the loop. The loops are open just like a jump ring. So you just move it up. And we're gonna attach that in to the crystal ball. And then we're gonna close it. Okay, next I'm gonna string this little elephant bead and because there's this little notch here, I'm gonna do a little trick. I'm gonna take two eye pins and I'm gonna open it and then close it. So they're already connected. So then we're gonna string the bottom of the bead. Because of this little notch, it's gonna be really hard to open your loop. So this way it's already attached and we don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna bend it. Get our wire cutters. We're gonna trim the end. Getting our needle nose pliers. We're going to form a simple loop. Okay. So next, um, we're gonna string our Amazonite faceted stone rectangle. See, and it's already attached, so we don't have to worry about trying to open up that loop and getting it, getting it in there. We're gonna bend the wire. And then we are going to form our simple loop.
So that's all connected. So we're going to open this side and we're going to connect it to the Amazonite and close the loop. Okay, next we're picking up another eye pin. And we're going to string our rhinestone ball. We're going to trim our wire using our needle nose pliers. We are going to form our simple loop. Looks pretty good. We're going to open it. Connect it to the end Amazonite loop. another eye pin. We're going to string a mint green lustered agate 10 millimeter. These are really beautiful. Howcraft has a really um, amazing selection of colors of the lustered stones on the website. So we're going to trim it. And then we're going to form our simple loop. It's lined up. I'm going to open the end of the loop and we're going to attach it to the rhinestone ball and close the loop. <clears throat> Oops. Next, we're going to string our Amber Luster Faceted Oval. It's a really beautiful bead. We're going to bend the wire with our wire cutters. We're going to cut the wire. And we're going to form our simple loop. And we're going to open that loop and connect it to the end. Okay, so now we're going to open this loop and we're going to attach our lobster clasp. Closed it. Now we're going to pick up a head pin and we're going to string one of the elephants. I love these elephants, they're so cute. So we're going to string that through the bottom. We're going to create a little dangle, bend the wire using your wire cutters, cut the wire. Using our chain nose pliers, we're going to form a simple loop. And we're going to open that loop and we're going to attach it to the amber um, luster glass loop to create the dangle. Okay, so we have one side of our bracelet done. Okay, moving over to the other side. We're gonna pick up a six millimeter jump ring. And we're gonna open the jump ring. You open and close, open and close. That's how you open a jump ring. You never pull apart, it'll distort the ring. So we're gonna open it. And we're gonna pick up this, um, Mint, mint green triangular tassel. These come in a multi-pack and there's a bunch of different colors. And I absolutely love these little tassels. And we are going to close our jump ring. Then using a head pin, we're going to pick up another mint green lustered agate. This one's eight millimeter. We're gonna bend the wire. And we're gonna cut it. And then we're gonna form our 
our simple loop. Now we're gonna pick up another six millimeter jump ring. We're gonna, we're gonna open that and we are going to connect our mint dangle Ooh, the hole's a little small. Let's try this one, and then we'll add a four millimeter to connect that one. And then we're gonna connect our round rhinestone um, dangle. So let's close this. Or actually, sorry, we're gonna connect it to the end. And since the hole's so small on that little, um, Rhinestone drop. I'm going to use a four millimeter jump ring to connect it. See that slid right through. Sometimes you have to, you know, improvise when you're when you're designing your stuff, and this will look good. It'll dangle very well. Okay, so we connected that. So there's all these cute little dangles. Now we're going to connect the other two dangles to each side of the Brazilian Amazonite connector. So we're going to use a four millimeter jump ring. We're going to open the jump ring, connect the little round rhinestone dangle, and we're going to connect that right onto the loop, and then we're going to close it. One more time, we're going to pick up a four millimeter jump ring. We're going to open it. We're going to connect the dangle. And then we're connecting it right onto that loop. And then we're closing the jump ring. Okay, there you have it. How to create my elixir bracelet featuring the new stone connectors from howcraftcollection.com. We have a lot of fun um, projects in the Inspiration Library. You should check it out. There's videos, how to more how-to videos on YouTube. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.